What is going on, Nerd Per Raiders? Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me here today as we play some more Planet Crafter and discover the rare Iridium Red resource in order to start producing some heat for ourselves, as well as explore some of the really weird wreckage that we see off into the distance. Before we jump any further into it, though, introductions are in order in case you don't know. I am Nick, this is Nerd Parade, and thank you so much for coming to hang with me. If you're liking what you see, please remember to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. And if you'd like even more nerd in your life, please head over to twitch.tv slash nerdparade, drop a follow, and come and hang out when we're live. Now, let's kick off our episode. I don't know if Cobalt was on the docket of things that I needed to collect, but... Inventory's full. Oh, man. I already want to move some of this stuff. Oh, I had a thought. Another, I need to see if I can break that down. I am squirreling hard. There is a lot of squirrel going on. Ice, ice baby. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Too cold, too cold. Okay, you are there. Blueprint. Oh, I got a new blueprint. What did I do to... Is it because I terraformed to 71? I'm not sure what I did to achieve that. Let me check my intergalactic email. Welcome to your... Okay, yeah, we got that. Oh, the year is 3058. It is in the future. It's not a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. We've confirmed this. Okay. Craft. I don't think I can break this down. I would like to make a torch module. Magnesium and silicone. And I cannot deconstruct you that I know of. Oh, what? No. Oh, no. What have I done? I've made a huge error. I've deconstructed through the... Through the pod. Must build. Sorry, wind turbine of wireless powerness. There we go. You're back. We're back in action. We are no longer powerless. Blueprint screen. Iron and silicone. That's what we need. That's titanium. That's ice. Iron and silicone. Don't squirrel, Nicholas. Don't squirrel. Iron. Silicone. Iron. 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 I think that's silicone, right? Silicone. Okay. We've got plenty here. I need a heater and a Vegemite tube. This is Australia. Confirmed. Did I put anything in this? I didn't. Okay, sweet. We can deco. 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 Oh, 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 okay. As, are you snapped? Yes, I like that. So you are going to be weird. I'm having too much fun playing with the building mechanics now. This is... I, I, the planet has me now. I think I need to put these down. I think I want to put these down. All right, let's, that's, looks like it should go, right? That's a door. That does not look like it should go. Can I put this down after the fact? I think so. Can't tell where I'm placing it. We've done it. No one will ever know, but we did it because it's perfectly hidden. Okay, that does not look like it's supposed to. Okay, this is completely unnecessary. I don't need to do this. I mean, I might later. I don't have time. I don't have time, Oxid. Deco, start something inside. Deco, deco, deco. Thank you for not being able to deconstruct if there's something. Oh, I got it. That is very, very helpful. Let's get some oxygen back since I'm going to suffocate outside. Ooh, outside stairs. Outside land. I'm getting so distracted. Uh, blueprint screen. This is what we need first. Blueprint screen. Oh, you're tiny. Where do you... Wait, I have to sit you on something? I have to situate you on the ground? Can I make a table at least? A desktop. Oh, well, we're gonna make a... We're gonna make a whole setup here. All right, I, I guess I am going to extend my cube module. We'll rebuild this later. It's going to look a little weird for now, but we need more titanium before we go any further. 
I built it up only to break it back down. And now I'm building it up again. Okay, there's that. Blueprint screen, yes. Okay. Can I have like dual monitors here? Can I really get a gamer setup going? Okay, yeah, we gotta put it off to the side. Uh, we have fabric. Looks like we're standing at our desk for now. Food levels are low. We should probably eat some rations, which I believe are in here. Right click. Oh, that wasn't a lot. Water bottle. A little low on water. Heater, tier one, and vegetube. Vegetube is happening now with ice and magnesium. I know I have the ice. Magnesium, on the other hand, I think I might need to take a little trip for. Can I scan for this? Reach blue sky 100... Oh, that, oh, that, that dot was supposed to be a comma. I said 175.000. That was uh, 175,000. Oh, magnesium. That was, that was a comma. That was not a dot. Uh, we need another magnesium. Thank goodness there's, these resources are so plentiful in this area. I'm gonna have to make fabric though, I believe. So we've got a long way to go before we get to terraforming index of 175,000. However, I think I should be able to drop multiple instances of drills to get us to where we need to go. Uh, he vegetube. Is there a front to this vegetube? That's, we're gonna pretend like that's the front. Oh, there's really not a front, it's just open vegetube. Insert veggie. <laughs> I think we have veggie in here. Seed lerma. All right, seed lerma. Do your thing. So it's consuming a little bit of energy. I should make another energy thing a thing. And a heater. We won't, ah, uh, iridium. We're gonna have to go on an adventure. Low power, I knew I was gonna have to make another thing. I called it. We're gonna have to generate a wind farm out here. Can't place on top, but I can place behind, screw it. It doesn't need to look amazing right now. I have a distinct feeling I'm gonna need to move. Let's go one more for the trifecta here. I have a distinct feeling that I'm going to need to move probably pretty soon. Uh, I hi There's that over there, and I highly doubt the entire game is going to take place right next to where I spawned in at. Just call it Gamer Instinct. Let's get this as close to the rock as we can. Okay, there we go. We got a trifecta of power. We need Iridium for a heater. And we can start working on more drill modules. I will also... How am I doing on oxygen? Let's get a quick sip of air. I will also work on... Slurp. Uh, maybe adding some exterior lights for when it goes dark and I can still collect at night. Should I head towards the ship? I'm, I'm a little worried about going all the way out that far without um, a decent amount of supplies. Iridium... Oh! What if I check some of the impact zones of the meteors that hit? There was one kind of complosion around. Ooh, is this it? No. It, I know it's like a red looking ore based on the picture. I'm not seeing any indication of meteor impact, but I feel. Oh, that's a something. I feel like there was meteors that hit around this area. That looks like it would be kind of a color of iridium. Now we got some exploring to do. We have no oxygen module on us. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta turn back. Okay. Don't lose yourself. Warning oxygen low. Yeah. Don't lose yourself out into the deserts there, Nicholas. Get your butt back to the ship. Refill your oxygen. Ooh, I am draining fast. We'll get a couple of those oxygen modules and then we will take a little adventure out to... Ooh, this is dicey.
We'll take an adventure out to that ship. Hopefully, I can refill oxygen at the ship at the destination. What? Oh, no. I believe that was death. I believe that was death. But thankfully, the sand people, another Star Wars reference, drug me back to my pod and allowed me to respawn. Unless my body's around here somewhere and I can loot it. Oh, uh, yeah, we need oxygen pods. None of that ever happened. Slurp. Air slurp. There we go. Uh, oxygen tube. One, two, three, four. Take some food for the road as well. Depot, depot, depot. Let's go. Okay. This is the first time we're setting out on a journey. And we'll see if I have a body around here somewhere that I can mysteriously loot. I, just, I, th I might have... J maybe I cloned myself. It's the year 3000. Maybe we just 3D printed our consciousness back. We're going to go with that one. And I was around here when I... Conked over, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't see a body or anything to loot. I don't see stuff, like, on the ground. We good to go. All right, this ship is my new destination. Mission, find Iridium. And hopefully it has oxygen-rich something or other on the inside. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm really digging this so far. I'm actually having a lot of fun. The game is more chill than I originally thought because of the meteors following, falling. Everything has been relatively fine. And it's leaning more towards the subnautica edge of things than it is the satisfactory edge of things. Which is still not a problem. I love sub subnautica, so I'm getting serious subnautica vibes here. Am I getting oxygen from in here? No, I am not. But am I cons- oh. Are we on emergency power? What's going on? Oh, that full, that full slurped me. I can't see a thing. I need the torch module if I'm going to come into here. That would have been the smart craft. <gasps> A box. Oh. Magnesium? Aluminum? Or aluminium, depending on how you prefer it. Uranium? I don't think I could pick that up, can I? It didn't kill me. Cool. I didn't die from picking up radioactive uranium. But I did not find iridium. And I cannot heat myself. Let's grab some more of that since it seems to be rare. I cannot heat myself without iridium. More iron. Oh, another box. <gasps> Yakpot. What is this? Super alloy. Oh, the rare red one. I got, a, I got an Achievo from that. Apparently, iridium is rare. Uranium? Relatively common. All right, let's grab... We're good on water. Good on space food. We're going to leave this here. We're going to grab the super alloy. And we're going to head out of here. Oxygen low. Not going to make this mistake again. Big slurp. Let's dip. I'm lost in this maze. Is this right? Okay, yeah, this looks like the ship. Okay, cool. There's the ship. But what is that? Some kind of strange debris? Some kind of strange debris? Allowing me to maybe parkour over there? I don't have very big hops. My hops are weak. Oh, I wonder if I can get something that'll give me a little bit more hops. As I try to parkour up here. Oh! oh almost ate that. Oh, okay, I got pretty I got pretty decent parkour skills. Tightrope walking, scare. There better be some treasure up here. I oh okay, we have found the treasure has been finding what the mesh looks like.
Oh, my oxygen is low again. Okay, well, I just walked right through that, so that doesn't seem necessarily like the play. Oh. Yeah, time to go. One oxygen tube remain. Probably going to consume that on the way back. We seem to be draining pretty quickly. And we got our gold. We got our iridium. So we can start to heat our little base. And then we'll go advance on to second steps. Question mark. Oh. New pack pack level two. Yeah. Awesome. That's more inventory slots for me. I will take it. I wonder if there's a suit upgrade as well that I'll be able to have more modules and I can equip the, the torch module as well so I can see better in the dark and explore that ship. That would be a really cool thing. But I'm just randomly getting these. So I'm wondering if there's a threshold of TI, Terraformation Index, that I trigger that unlocks these things. I did craft a blueprint computer, right? Maybe it tells me on that. Maybe it tells me when my next blueprint unlock is. I crafted the computer, I just didn't look at it. So this is the oxygen. Oh, looks like the oxygen is like slowly rising. Heat is at zero pK. Oh, wow, my, my plant grew. Um, show interface, here we go. So, increases inventory size, great. Unlock at 1.00 kTi for solar panels, cool. Backpack tier three. 2.5 kti so that's exactly what it is once i hit ti thresholds advanced crafting station once i hit ti thresholds i am gaining the knowledge find blueprint microchips and decode it here okay i will attempt to do that but first a heater new blueprint received living compartment window hello heater silicone Valley. I need silicone. Oh, I have a full inventory if I remember correctly, so let's do this. Oh, I have silicone in here. No, no I didn't have a full inventory. Slightly full. Something, something popped up and I clicked off. I hit the build menu too quickly and it went away. Oh, I'm in shambles. I don't know what it said. We'll put the heater in here. Like, just, we'll warm our toes as soon as we walk inside. So I'm now generating heat energy. We'll warm up our habitat a little bit. Let's get more iron. With more iron, we can make more drills, right? Which should increase our TI generation. Now we should be doubled, right? Effectively? Yeah, we seem, okay. So we can do that almost indefinitely. And backpack level two. Probably need a crafting station tier two to make it, I would assume. So silicone and more iron. That's titanium. Starting to learn what the things are. That's gotta be titanium again, here's iron. And silicone. Is around here somewhere. That's more iron. I'll, I'll take it. We can never have too much iron. Iron is the bread and butter of what we're trying to do here. Silicone. Let's make our crafting station tier two. And I'm really starting to want to expand now. My initial, hey, let's only build a very small compartment has, uh, has significantly died off. I do want to move. I want to find a better location for our base. But I need a bigger pack pack in order to hold all the things when I break this down. One hundred percent. So iron, silicone, titanium, and original backpack. So we're expanding upon it. Great. Exoskeleton. I knew it. Silicone and magnesium. That's going to allow us to equip more thing of things. 
magnesium, magnesium, more silicone. Hydration level is critical. Did I not make water? I think ice converts into water. Uh, water bottle is ice. Yes, that is correct. Can I do it at my new crafting station? Okay, we're, it's pretty forgiving here. It doesn't seem like it requires too much. Can I do anything with the heater? No. Uh, yes, I can. Water bottle, ice. Water bottle, consume. Ice in here, yes. Water bottle, create. Yeah, very, very, very Subnautica-esque. Me likey. We'll grab an ice. I could probably consume food to heal myself a little bit since that was going down. Which heart basically seems like hunger. Heart is more hunger. Water is obviously water. O2 is obviously the air that we try to breathe. 